This is take two. This is garden tour. May 5th, about uh, quarter after seven, the sun is setting. It's, uh, the spring has been very, very cool and we're just waiting. A few things are budding, uh, but we do have, have a few early, early flowers to show you. Thanks to my uh, sister today's and my daughter Lee's for offering a few little suggestions. Hope to improve my videos each time I post. Uh, as we walk uh, in the front yard, this is the garden on the roadside of the house. Uh, it is facing uh, the south and uh, in this garden we start off with uh, a large variety of tulips and here are some hydrangeas that I trimmed off and they're already starting to bud. Those hydrangeas will go to three feet tall. We'll keep an eye on them during the during the summer. Some more beautiful tulips. We have the, the orange variety and the purple. And the whole yard is covered with forget-me-nots. There they are. And uh, beautiful pastel hydrangea or that's a hyacinth another hyacinth here and here's early view of uh, one of the 500 roses we have in the garden this one has been pruned and it's already starting to leaf out and will be budding shortly back here we have our secret lilies that are always in bloom as I pan out, we have this arbor. This arbor is made especially for a climbing rose called New Dawn. And uh, by the end of the summer, the canes will go right over the top of, of this arbor. So we walk through the garden a bit. Uh, lots of tulips. Sandra loves planting tulips. and uh, we just keep moving through and as we pan up we will approach uh, massive amounts of daffodils we have these uh, white and uh, pink ones vivid yellow and more yellow As I pan to the to the right, this is um, a tree peony. This garden has uh, a number of tree peonies, and they'll be spectacular at the end of the summer. The real reason I brought you to the garden today, and here down here is the start of some lilies, and they'll be. Uh, beautiful also uh, in a couple months. This is a rose garden and it has 500 roses in it and around uh, the end of June it should be spectacular. We'll post uh, a video of the 500 roses in bloom. Tell your friends. The real reason I brought you to the garden today is to examine this tower on which we have uh, caned uh, some roses but if you look carefully there's a nest that was built without us too noticing it and as I pan forward I hope you see uh, four robin's eggs there's robin egg blue and we'll keep an eye on that. I know that according to Google, the mother lays four eggs, one a day, for four days. And they also hatch in that order, one a day, for four days. And just before we hang up, 
I want to show you this this wrap plant. And uh, shortly we're going to unwrap that. There's one here and one over there. And and uh, we'll unwrap those on the next video and show you how we protected the flowers during a very uh, kind of mild winter this year. We really only had one, one snow. So I'm going to sign off now and we'll uh, see how this works.